Last year, the food festival in Newport, I thought was fantastic. Customers can learn and, and see different things rather than go into the same supermarkets all the time and actually come into a different area and see how things are sold in different ways. And that in itself is, is, is a massive plus. That gave us a really great platform to, to sort of promote our products um, and it was a wonderful day. We did a dinner for 170 people. It was very successful. It was great because it was nice to see that buzz, you know, have, have that original that it used to be like. It was lots of people in here, real nice buzz about the place. There were chef's demonstrations on the Saturday in, in the marketplace. Everybody I spoke to said it was absolutely fantastic and it was what Newport needed. So here we are, we're going to do it again. And hopefully this year it will be even better. Uh, I've been here for, uh, this is my seventh year now. Um, the actual shop itself has been here for over 100 years um, and I purchased it off uh, a, family, a family concern uh, around seven years ago. My background is ultimately running supermarkets and one of the biggest highlights for me here is having the one-to-one -one contact with the customers. Uh, a lot of our customers we know uh, first name terms, um, we know what they want, um, which helps a great deal. And those, you know, every customer gets, gets A1 service every time. So you've got that one-to-one -one interaction all the time with the customers. That's, that's the biggest thing for us. I'm fifth generation working here for quite a long time now. And, um, you know, it's, it's just something, it's, I suppose, it's in my blood now, isn't it? You know, and, and as, as I say, it's been passed on through the generations. So I'm sort of, yeah, it's something to, I'm quite proud of, really, to hopefully carry it on and being part of the market as well, which is, I think, in this day and age, is, is something quite special, you know, to be part of, you know, an independent sort of trading uh, community, really, because it is very much like a community, I think, I feel, and I think we need more of this, you know, otherwise you're just going to have, like, the, the big supermarkets. Not that, you know, there's anything wrong with that, but I think it's something quite sort of special to be part of. Newport, is, it's up and coming, there's lots of different restaurants, a lot of ethnic, you know, Indian, Pakistani, there's lots of Thai, there's a few Thai restaurants, um, there's, you know, the, the Celtic Manor, ourselves, uh, Junction 28, lot, lots of um, good cuisine, Italian food, there's quite a few Italian restaurants, and it's getting better all the time. We do a very, you know, various food. We do, we, we do Italian, French, traditional English cuisine. Uh, we do a tapas evening once a, once a month, which goes pretty well. But generally, it's uh, British European. The great things about Papa Tom's is a, is a friendly uh, atmosphere, always a good ambience, and the food is great, honest traditional Indian food. We uh, start off with uh, the mix, uh, mixed spice. You got a uh, few few spices in there, which is which I prepared earlier, mixed up. And you got salt, you got chili powder, you got tomato puree, and you got butter here. You got minced meat, which has been pre-boiled, and you got masala paste. Basically, I love cooking. I've been cooking since the age of what, 14? is to go to my dad's place sometimes and just watch him like cook up and that's where I got the passion from. I went to school, didn't bother for cooking, that's the way forward. If you don't enjoy it, then it's not going to turn out right. The chicken tikka masala paste, that's the, one of the British favourite dishes and um, everyone, does, everyone does the masala paste according to the, the way this is the way I make my masala. Okay. A lot of flavours, a lot of colours, a lot of taste, uh, Indian food. Uh, and, that's, and it's a lot of home cooking in, in, infused in, into the cooking of it. That's not so much commercial. And on side of that, we do have the commercial like the korma and the chicken tikka masalas, which is more British than it should be. <laughs> but the Indian food is traditional Indian food at its best. On the, on the current menu, we've got um, the three little pigs. So it's um, uh, slow roast belly pork. Uh, braised pork shoulder and then there's a little uh, mini like uh, casserole pot then that's on the plate as well and inside that there's Italian sausages with cannellini beans and a, 
and a Napoli tomato sauce. Well, ice cream is, um, you know, real Italian gelato, and that's like sauce from uh, Turin. And people absolutely love it. We do some quite unique things with it as well. We've got uh, had some little artists' uh, palettes, little wooden artist palettes made by uh, a wood guy down at Trevega House. So we've got miniature ice cream cones, and people can come in, and we keep about 15, 16 flavours in stock, so they can choose any five flavours and have like a little like a taster's palette. Yeah, well, I'm looking to get involved in the food festival by I've been talking to Chris Jones uh, about hosting a fringe event. So what we'd love to do is kind of kind of long tables to have that whole like Italian feast uh, kind of concept going. So everybody sort of sits down, sit next to people maybe they don't know, you get to know new people, um, and just like it's all about having a good time really. You know, Newport Food Festival is about working with partners within Newport, isn't it? And you know, Tiny Rebel Brewery. I've met the guys from there a few times, and they're really passionate about what they do. Um, had some, you know, they've uh, kind of given me some samples of, of uh, new sort of brews and things, and it's a really sort of lovely potential there to do a bit of like beer matching with what we do. Unfortunately, last year we weren't established as a business, so we, we, we couldn't get into it. But what we did last year, we supported it by we, we, we sort of supported the supper event, which was the meal after the, the, the festival. So we, we had a table there, invited a few people along. It was just to try and get our name out there a little bit to see what the event actually was all about. Because it's new, I think it's still new to Newport and everyone's still trying to kind of get their head around what they want it to be. So this year now, we, we were approached and you know, we, we also, we kind of approached them as well because we, we did want to do kind of like little, little events on the side. Because the day, on the Thursday before the festival, festivals on a Saturday. So on a Thursday we've got, um, we're tying in with a pen and wig pub in Newport. We're doing a, a beer festival and also a brewery tour. Just to kind of promote the festival and get people doing things throughout the week. You know, just to try and spark interest really. Yeah, well the Tiny Rebel Brewery um, has got sort of the same personality as, as Newport. Um, that sort of urban feel, that rough little urban, uh, like a diamond in the rough really. Um, so yeah, definitely it ties in a lot with the Newport aspect of it, that's the reason why we set up in Newport. Um, yeah, aimed at a, sort of that younger generation really, uh, not your typical kind of um, old man's beer, but more of a, a new wave, like a new craft wave um, of beer that sits in with Newport City as well, I suppose, yeah. I think it's uh, something new for Newport, it's new for Killian. Um, it's very um, relaxing. It's a it's a place where people can have fun. The the thing is, what we've created here is is something that takes you thousands of miles away. You think you're in a, a shack in Jamaica. The good thing about it is, there's nothing like this in in Newport, maybe even South Wales. Um, we are strictly Jamaican, and we just want to bring a flavour Jamaican to lots of people, you know, to enjoy sunshine. We want to create dishes which takes me back to my childhood when my great-grandmother, my grandmother, my, my great-grandmother, my grandmother um, used to cook some superb dishes. Um, we're doing things like um, uh, red snapper um, which is uh, a lovely um, tropical uh, fish. Curry goat which is Jamaica's most popular um, dish. Um, everyone has curry goat in Jamaica, so we got it on the menu. Um, we do jerk chicken. Um, we are a company that makes jerk sauces, so jerk chicken is, is excellent. The, the twist that we are offering is, when you go to Jamaica, jerk is very hot and spicy. But yeah, we have a range from very mild right through to um, extra hot, so that's good. And obviously pork, um, Jamaicans love their pork, so we do jerk pork as well. My involvement in the Newport Food Festival, um, well, we, we, last year we, we, we did it for the first time. It was the first time and I thought it was an excellent festival. Um, it gave us, a, it was pretty unique last year actually because from a, a backyard company point of view, we, we, we were all over the country in London, um, Scotland, Manchester, um, North Wales, uh, West Wales, but never really um, got around in Newport. You know, we sort of as um, 
a Newport business, but never really promoted our product in Newport. So that gave us a really great platform to, to sort of promote our products, um, and it was a wonderful day. And this year, we really want to get more involved because we are the main sponsors for the food festival because I think it's a great uh, opportunity. Newport is a very diverse uh, population and it's, good, it's a good food culture here. And I think the food festival is going to sort of bring that to the fore. I think it's, a, it's one of the greatest or one of the best things I think Newport has done for a long time. I think this is going to have a tremendous um, future. Um, I think it's a great start and I, I, you know, we, we, and being a Newport business, we want to be in the heart of it. We want to support it for years to come and, and you know, just, just do whatever we can do to make it a success.